Hey guys, Carco come back to you. So today we're back with another um, score prediction and weekly update from last week's scores. So let's go ahead and start with last week. Um, I got my beanie on, so hopefully we're not so cold uh, this week, or we can you know stay a little warmer this week. So all right. So to start off with the Minnesota Vikings and Packers, I had the Packers win that twenty-eight to fourteen, but as you guys know, Dalvin Cook went off. I don't know how I lost in fantasy, but I did. I had Davlin Cook. He scored 50 points, and I lost. Just a little salty. But Vikings won that 28-22. Next was the Titans and the Bengals. I had the Titans winning 31-24, and as you guys know, if you watch, the Bengals upset the Titans 31-20. They're not the team I thought they were going to be. I thought they were looking a lot better. But... Uh, at least I got this next game right. It was the Jets and the Chiefs. Uh, I had the Jets losing 10-42. to um, I wasn't too far off. Uh, the Jets obviously lost 9-35. to So it wasn't too bad there. Um, then I had the Colts beating the Lions 27-24. to And they just kind of showed them what's up with the 41-21 win. Not even close. I thought it was going to be closer. Uh, I had the Ravens beating the Steelers by three. I just want them to fall, I guess. Um, that's where we're at right now. So, however you guys know, uh, they beat them 28-24. The, the Steelers beat the Ravens 28-24. Then the Rams, they were looking good. I thought they would win against Miami. I didn't think Tua would have such a great start. Well, Miami, uh, I had Miami losing 10-27. Uh, well, Tua came out, he started a lot better than we thought, and he won 28-17. We'll see how he does this week. Then I had the Patriots losing to the Bills. Um, I had it a 9-24 game, it was a 21-24 game. Cam Newton looked a lot better, um, than he did against the Niners. I had the, uh, the, Va the, the Vaders, the Raiders beating the Browns 21-17, um, I didn't think they were, you know, the Browns are looking as good without OBJ, and they ended up losing 26-23, so it was closer than I thought. Um, but they, you know, they still end up losing that game. And then I had the Chargers uh, beating the Broncos 35 to 21, but they ended up losing 30 to 31 on that last second um, two point conversion, I believe, or was it a touchdown? I can't remember off the top of my head. Sorry about that. Um, then I had the Saints beating the Bears 31-28, uh, and the Saints ended up winning by three points, just 26-23, so pretty close game there. Um, here's where I'm a little embarrassed. Uh, I had the Niners beating the Seahawks 38-33. Um, the Niners looks good, and then, you know, Jimmy G got hurt. George Kittle got hurt. You know how it goes. 19 guys on IR. Half, over half of our starters. However, I think the Niners IR could beat half the teams in the league, if not more. Please like this video. Comment if you believe that is true. The Niners IR can beat more than half the teams in the league. Of course, the Niners ended up losing that 27-37, which is all good. Um, it's just going to end up being a rebuilding year. We just got to stay healthy. Cowboys, again, Dak Prescott injured. Uh Andy Dalton with a concussion. I didn't have any hope in their in their in their backup, and uh, I think I was right in that. I had the Cowboys losing to the Eagles, seventeen to six, and uh, they end up losing twenty three to nine. So pretty close on that. Um, yeah, and then the Bucks against the Giants. A little shock there. Um, if you guys watch that game, I was like, oh, you know, the Bucks will run away with this, uh, thirty one to ten. You know, whatever. Well, I'm at work, and uh, my boss is like, hey, go take your lunch. I was like, well, good. I'm going to go watch the game. I'm watching the game. I see Tom Brady slamming his helmet on the bench and just super upset. He's down. And I was like, what happened? So, But they ended up pulling it out 25-23. So it's all good. Got that prediction. Oh, between that and, and then, of course, there was Thursday night. I thought the Packers were going to lose pretty big. 31 to 17, and they ended up winning 37 to 27. Again, I did that before all the COVID stuff and the IR stuff, which surprised that game didn't get delayed if it did. Um, 
yeah, I think it would have been a closer game. Packers still might have come away with it, but that's the thing. You got to look at the Niners. Uh, second and third string guys are still looking pretty good. Um, they're just not a full game player, which is all good. It's all good. So, all right. So that week, I technically went seven and seven, um, which I think I'm up. I think I was eight and seven or seven and six week before, something like that. So we're still positive. We're above 500. We're all good. Okay. The Texans and the Jaguars. Now the Texans winning this one by a squeak. 21 to 17. It'll be a close one. It'll be a good one, but it'll be a close one. I have the Giants beating Washington or losing to Washington. Sorry. 14 to 10. I think Washington's going to beat the Giants on this one. Even though we saw the Giants looking pretty good. So, you know, we'll see. I'm okay getting that one wrong. I'm fine with that one being wrong. Next, we have the Ravens and the Colts. I have the Ravens winning this one 38 to 28. I think it'll still be, it'll be close. And then um, just like a last minute touchdown or field goal or something like that um, to just put that 10 point lead in there. Um, Lions and Vikings. I have the Vikings taking this one 24 to 21 because dang, they looked good. So we'll see. I think it'll be good. 24, 21 Vikings. Yeah, it'll be close. I had the, I have the bears losing to the Titans 17 to 21. I don't have much hope in either of these teams right now. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if this goes the other way. 21-17. It's going to be a mid-scoring game. Um, it'll be, you know, high 10s, low 20s So for both teams, I think. so. Next, I have the Panthers and the Chiefs. Um, I have the Chiefs taking this 42-10. to I just think the Panthers aren't going to be able to handle their defense. Um, but you never know. I can see the Panthers scoring, you know, 10-21. to 21. I can score. Anywhere in there. I think they're going to take 10, but I wouldn't be surprised if they had more. But the Chiefs take that. Next, I had ugh, the Seahawks beating the Bills 24-21. to um, Seahawks, they should do well. The Bills should play well, but I don't know. I think the Seahawks will end up taking this. Next, I have the, I have the Broncos losing the Falcons. Yeah, they won last minute last week. Yeah, but I think the Falcons are out for blood. I think the Falcons are trying to prove to people, hey, come play in Atlanta. So I have them winning 17 to 14. They, the Vaders, I see, I did it again. The Raiders and the Chargers, 31 to 28 Chargers on top. They've been in close games. Almost all their losses this year since uh, Herbert took over have been close games. I think it'll stay close. And we'll see Herbert get one today or tomorrow. Dolphins and Cardinals. Cardinals 28-17. to Dolphins, uh, Tua looks good, right? Um, I think he'll play all right. But Murray is, is relentless, and he's going to say, no, no, I want this. So. I think we'll see them on top. Steelers and Cowboys, not even close. Not even close. I think the Steelers are going to take this 30, 31 to 6. Um, yeah, 31 to 6 for the Steelers. Saints, Bucks, honestly, after last week, and the, the Giants just kind of, hey, hey, Brady, you good? You good? No, you're not good? Oh, okay. Yeah, I think uh, I think the Saints are going to take this 28-14. Um, I know a lot of people are saying, no, the Bucks are going to win. The Bucks are going to win. But Tom Brady's frustrated with his team, his protection. Um, he's gotten Gronk. He started getting Gronk in his uh, in his rhythm, but still, I just I don't think it's gonna it's making that much of a difference. So in the last the Monday night game, the Patriots and the Jets. Really? The Patriots and the Jets? Well, I think the Patriots will take this 24-3. to um, Yeah, tanking for Taylor, or tanking for Trevor. Um, yeah, okay. 
I think it'll be funny if he goes back and says, ah, I'm going to play one more year. I don't, I don't feel like going to the Jets. But then if the Jets get there again, well, it's kind of going to be interesting. So, guys, a lot of a lot of rumors going around um, the NFL about different teams looking to trade and stuff like that. Let's see what happens. Um, but uh, if you're new here, hit that like, hit that subscribe. We do this every Saturday. Um getting the new vote or the new new scores in for the week the predictions um also please leave a comment if you disagree because i'd love to chat with you i'd love you to see your comments i read them i heart them i'm gonna reply to them but i kind of want to see what you're thinking uh where you think i'm wrong but again we got the beanie hopefully we're not on a cold streak this week so hey good luck guys we'll see you later